of truth, let's uh, mount it up. Get any debris off the two of these. started and these are going in you know that's lined up enough these are going in you know that far which is more than enough I don't need to go all the way down and bottom out in the bottom of the hole the hole's definitely deeper it's down here um, but that's more than enough my only concern is using a five a grade five bolt uh, Yeah, that's not really a high quality bolt. <laughs> so I may play with it a little bit, but then I will uh, I will stop at the uh, hardware store and get good bolts uh, tomorrow morning probably. But this will certainly hold it well enough for me to check uh, accuracy and stuff like that. Now by putting the bolt on the back side here, I'm using this bottom part here as my fulcrum point. So I'm actually getting some leverage, you know, whatever that distance is there, as opposed to if I have it on this side, I've got it, all of this plus that I'm trying to hold back. You know, here I'm getting the same leverage on the bolt, but on the chuck, I'm getting less. So, boring uh, observation for the day. Good thing to, uh, uh, I didn't learn that with machining, it was with uh, cars, doing lug nuts and stuff like that. That's always the easiest way to break them uh, when the tire's up in the air trying to spin. So let's go mount it up and see if it, uh, you know, I should, yeah, you know, uh, I'll definitely get some stronger ones, make sure I can crank them down tight and everything. The, because uh, there's no room there whatsoever to put in lock washers or anything. Uh, unless I buy some specific made for their high collar ones. So they're no bigger diameter than the Allen head. Uh, so I may pick some of those up at the same time too. So I've had these jaws out once or twice before while I was measuring. Uh, you know, because these are the externals. So I've it came with the uh, internals. Uh, anyway, I never noticed it before, but the number for the jaw is stamped down inside here. One, two, three. You know, and, and, and I... I knew the number was on the on the uh, the jaw. This is number one. I just never found it on here. So the first couple times I took it apart, I uh, made a point. I wrote a little sharpie one on there and a two and a three, and uh, that's how I kept track of it. All right, this is why I took the the jaws out. It it had you know some uh, had about a half inch of jaw grabbing it, you know. But hardened jaws, hardened. Well, it's a steel chuck. Whether or not it's hardened or not, I don't know. The jaws are. Okay. And I'm chucking it in this way so I can cut the cut that down a little closer, make it look a little prettier. That's spinning really accurate here. You can tell the casting's off a bit. Well, it's certainly better than it was. So, I've got one more pass to make. I want to make sure I don't hit the screw head.
Yeah, I think that's uh, that's nice and pretty. That ought to do the trick. It's purely cosmetic, so it's got to be good. All right, let's put the chuck back on. still have well I'm gonna check it and see how accurate it spins and then I'll probably have to take it back off again and put that uh, lock in here in case I ever run it in reverse uh, it won't come off I'm not exactly sure uh, like I said I haven't taken these out before so First indication is very nice. I'm gonna put it roughly to the middle again just for balance. Whoa! I think there's debris in there. I grabbed it wrong or the chuck jaws are whack. That's way out. Well this is then the other step of the jaw, the jaws. Uh, it's got about uh, two and a half thou of run out. Yep. Uh, so I think next I'll see if I can uh, check it to the uh, to the chuck. I don't think uh, I don't know if I can sneak it in here. Still won't tell me what it is out here but it might tell me if it's a bit more accurate than this and, and my concern with this piece is is that ah, you know the end was milled off not turned on the lathe so I guess I could uh, guess I could go face this in the other lathe real quick all right so I went and faced it off in the other lathe um, and the reason for that is because there's not a whole lot of jaw engagement you know depth wise along the body here uh, so the alignment a lot of it's going to be you know that back face so let's see if this is uh, any better Oop, not touching Close enough. Well, it looks like it's about the same. Hell. That ah, looks like it's five. Now it's more. That's a little better. Let's tighten it up with all three, just to uh, make sure it's consistently. All right, that's three TIR. I did check the uh, the thing just with the calipers, uh, the stock and. It appeared to be exactly round. It's, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it is. The piece of chromed bar used for uh, hydraulic pistons and that kind of stuff. Um, 
So, you know, the only time that becomes an issue, if I chuck in, you know, if I, if I put a piece of uh, metal in there and turn, turn this part, you know, the only time this indicated run out really becomes an issue is when I have to turn the part around, how far out of alignment is it? You know, then, then this piece, this surface here is not as concentric to the bore and to, the, to this as it should be. <coughs> Now on this particular part, that's not a huge issue because it's just a rubber seal writing on here. Um, you know, which will give in flex, you know, certainly within a few thousandths. So uh, I don't have to worry about it a great deal. I am kind of uh, I am kind of wondering about the jaws, so maybe I'll change the jaws over to the other ones, try the half inch bar and and see. Or I'll try the body of the chuck here. Alright, well I found a sweet spot. Okay, I got a half thou on here, uh, which means I should be able to get a half thou on the <clears throat> on the jaws and the and the bar. You know, three jaw chucks aren't uh, extremely accurate anyway, so I'll call that half thou good. Let's uh, let's try the half inch bar with the other jaws. All right, almost done uh, making sure the. Making sure the jaws are cleaned as I put them back in here. Okay, they all come together nice and accurately. And you don't have to run it all the way in, you know, you can just feel or look that the outsides are uh, there. See, if I get it about there to the balance point, then it should be pretty close to the middle. Okay, how's that look? Ooh, that looks like it should. God, you know, it seems that four jaw was closer. This is uh, a thou and a half. Alright, so that's one, one thou.